the moment the dam broke. And they swarmed into the office of a president already fled. At street level, security forces attempted to hold the line. One demonstrator, a lawyer, gave his verdict on events. At the moment, I think the people's struggle is moving successfully, and I wish all the best for the people's struggle. And at the end, we will make the full sales for our life. Riot police have the gas, riot police have the water cannon. But the people of Sri Lanka have the numbers, and they've had enough of queuing like this for fuel of 50% inflation, of endless shortages of energy, food, medicine, and all of it, people say, the result of the government's economic bungling. I work one day and stand in the queue for five. That's why I want to get rid of the president. President Gotabaya Rajapaksa hanged in effigy in the streets. Social media footage appeared to show the presidential motorcade speeding away from the palace. Same vehicles later seen crossing the apron at Colombo's International Airport. Someone else filmed porters apparently running what's claimed to be the presidential baggage onto a naval vessel for the voyage to safety. The Gulf seen as a likely destination. Leaving the presidential palace storm. Partying among the bedrooms personal medication and a cotton bud, the unlikely symbols of uprising and overthrow, together with, yes, the presidential underpants. Filming a fleet of luxury cars, the president will not now be taking for a spin. Helping themselves to the private swimming pool and its delights. The mood equally euphoric over in the banqueting hall. And don't forget the kitchen, snacking and necking the presidential booze. In a country where petrol's scarce and unaffordable, trains were packed early doors. Protesters waving the national flag from windows, heading to the capital, Colombo. Others crammed into lorries for the trip to town to overthrow the president. And there, one police officer calmly rode up parked up, gave up, joining the protests, which look today like revolution. Day two of the Sri Lanka-Australia test match briefly paused as crowds massed at the old fort next to the Colombo cricket ground. Prime Minister Ranul Wickremesinghe called an emergency cabinet meeting, as well he might, and he's offered to resign. President Gotabaya Rajapaksa already history. So it looks like the end of the Rajapaksa family dynasty and the long years of complete control it exercised over this island nation. If this can happen when you lose control of energy prices and inflation, governments around the world should be watching.